Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today is a Trader Road FTP ramp test. The reason why I'm taking a ramp test today is that I am officially halfway through the Trainer Road build phase and halfway through you do a ramp test. So basically I was building for three weeks. Last week was a recovery week and this week I'm testing. So I'm really curious to see how my FTP has possibly increased in just three weeks of VO2 max training. It'll be interesting, right? A couple things that I wanna say. First off, I actually had a cold this past weekend. It was just like a head cold, but I took an extra day off. Since it was the recovery week, my focus was on recovering, and even though it was just a zone two endurance ride, I didn't think it was smart to do it and to spend that extra time recovering so that I wouldn't be sick for today's ride. And I don't feel too bad today, just a little bit tired because, you know, I wake up early. And then the other thing I want to say is that the last video I did where I did a ramp test, I got a lot of comments telling me not to stand up. And yeah, I do know that you're not supposed to stand up during the ramp test because it skews the results. When you saw me stand in that video, it was because I was trying to reposition a little bit. I was trying to get in a better position because I wasn't comfortable. So anyways, that's really it for the intro this morning. Let's get down to work. I have drank a little bit of caffeine this morning with my V8 Energy and I've eaten just a little bit just to give me a little bit extra. I know this is only like a 25 minute effort, but I really like to have just a little bit in the tank. Let's jump right in. FTP ramp test is always so hard that something just goes wrong at the end. And today, this leg fell off my little gorilla pod for my camera. Couldn't handle the watts. Couldn't handle the watts. Without further ado, I'm going to give you the ramp test results. Not gonna wait around this time. My previous FTP, if you remember from four weeks ago, was 202. It is now it is now 214. So I got a 12 watt increase with literally three weeks of VO2 max intervals and one week of recovery. That's what I've been doing the past four weeks. When I did my last FTP ramp test, it was at the end of the six week sweet spot base program. And it was also a 5% increase. So I'm increasing at a pretty steady rate, especially now that I really only had three weeks of good training. I'm super happy. 214 is technically an all time high for me. I believe I've been higher, but I wasn't testing then. But anyways, this kind of shows that like the indoor training I've been doing this winter is getting me so ready as long as I apply it outdoors, which I definitely believe that I will. So I think a big difference with today's ramp test versus the last ramp test is that my heart rate actually got higher. And I believe that's because I was able to get it up there because I'm used to doing that more often now with the VO2 max intervals. So I actually hit my max today, which is 192. So I'm really happy that I was able to get that get that all the way up. That makes me feel a lot better about my overall effort. And I didn't stand up at all. So there you guys go. All the people who commented on the last video, I didn't, I wasn't standing to trick the test. It was just an adjustment, like I said. But anyways, that was, that was fun, but I gotta get to work. Right, you might be wondering why I have so randomly washed my bikes this evening in the cold. I don't know if you can tell, but my hands are, are they hurt. My hands are frozen, they hurt, it is so cold. Basically, I randomly got a phone call today asking if I wanted to do a photo shoot for some kind of biking clothing. 
It's with a local photographer. I have to bring all my own gear, my own bikes, all my riding gear that I would normally bring. I'm really apprehensive about doing it. It's totally out of my comfort zone. I decided to do it though because I want to step out of my comfort zone and I want to take this opportunity to see what, what this is going to be like because I've never done anything like this before. So both bikes are clean now. All right, before I end the video today, I just want to point out two things that I thought about throughout the course of the day. The first thing is, is thinking about the trainer road ramp test versus the standard old school 20 minute test. You know, they say that the ramp test is to help people who maybe have a problem pacing for that 20 minutes. I've realized something else though, that the ramp test almost kind of gives you a goal. What I did last night is I went to my previous ramp test and looked to see the last step that I got to. And then it gave me a goal for today of, okay, get one more step higher and you'll see an improvement. That's a lot harder to do with the 20 minute test, but with the ramp test, you just have to look at that last little step and know what to do to automatically get an improvement. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I like it to be honest. I like having a goal and being able to hit that goal, so it worked well for me. Uh, the second thing I want to say is that I'm still looking at my data on Excerpt, and I, of course I got a breakthrough on Excerpt today, but my threshold power is still lower than what my FTP is showing at. That's the way that Excerpt works. It's taking breakthroughs for your normal training and giving you that number, but because I'm doing some specific training plan not on Excerpt, obviously on Trainer Road, I'm not doing those breakthroughs on a regular basis. So it's a little bit off, but I'm not worried about that at all. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel. And I'm gonna try to do a video tomorrow to see what's going on with this weird photo shoot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.